morning, 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 morning. It's the moment where we go down to Love to Reef down in London Harlow uh, this morning. It is super early, it's about 6.30 in the morning uh, in England. It's super crispy, that's why I got my coat on, so uh, it's one of those beautiful, I mean, just look how gorgeous it is. Sun's rising, frost on the ground almost, and uh, yeah, I'm all excited for a beautiful day today. I can even hear the birds tweeting as well. So we're going to head down to uh, Harlow in Essex, just near London, as I say, to visit uh, the Love to Reef event and also the long-awaited visit to AAC, uh, an LFS down in Harlow, London. Super excited for this. It's about a three-hour drive, so we better hit the road. I've got to get there for 10 a.m. And uh, I'd like to take you guys along with me. So I uh, hope you're excited uh, just as much as I am. I can't wait to meet the reefers and see what's going on down there. So we'll leave it here for a minute. Get in the car and then I'll do a bit more filming there. Morning, can I have a, a medium tea, please? Yes, sir, with milk. Uh, yeah, with milk, please. Yes. Is it Yorkshire tea? Sorry? Is it Yorkshire tea? Or is it. Ah, uh, well, that'll be fine, that'll be fine, thank you. That's all? Uh, can I have a sausage bath as well, please? But uh, you still want uh, the tea, yeah? Yes, please, yeah. Yes, sure. Any sauce for your bath? Oh, uh, tomato, ke tomato ketchup. ketchup. Yes. Yeah, yes, that'd sure. be lovely, thank you. Yes, sure. Uh, that's it, thank you very much. Oh, lovely, thank you. Thanks. Bye bye. Bye bye. So, my. Uh, my wife got me addicted to costas. I have to have a costa everywhere I go now. I didn't even, I didn't used to bother, but now, always. Hello. Hey, hey up, mate. I've got a loyalty card. Yeah, let me have a. I have a tea then. Do you use tea? Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, that'll do then. Yeah. I'm a bit of a fan of Yorkshire tea. That's all, mate. Yeah. But uh, here we go. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sure it'll be nice. Yeah. Thank you. It's 6.89 when you're ready for it. Here we go. Thank you, very kind. Thank you. <laughs> I thought that was me then. <laughs> Somebody else peeping there. <laughs> that's uh, tea for you. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank, Thank you, you sir. Thank you. I don't know what the hell's going on over here. It's busy, busy at the services here. Early morning. Let's taste this. Ooh. Yeah, that's quite nice. It's a bit hot though. It's a bit hot. And then stop with the Oh, that's lovely, sir. Thank Enjoy you very much. Today. Yeah, Thank same you. to you. Have a good day. Uh, Take care. If you've not had a sausage bat from Costa, you've got to have one. I don't know what it is, but it just tastes absolutely amazing. Right. Cheers mate, thanks for letting me out. That's the guy who's peeping early. Right, where's the exit over here? Right, let's get back on with this journey. Uh, and uh, yeah, let's get to the coral show. What it is, is basically, it's um, we've got to get there for 10 a.m. 10 a.m. in the morning. At half 10, we've got a keynote speech from uh, not only Ecotech, the uh, producer of kind of wave makers and uh, Aquarium lighting, so we've got a, a talk from them. I'm really excited about that. And then following that, we've got a Q&A. So all the panel, there's over 50 tickets sold. It is a sellout event. Over 50 tickets sold. Um, it's a Q&A, and you can ask any kind of reefing questions, maybe things about your own aquarium, that sort of thing that you want to know, or ask about new products and, and various other things. Uh, but also there, lots of other things going on. So there's a frag swap. We've had a WhatsApp group which has been absolutely buzzing with activity, so people are bringing down their own corals to swap over as well. Um, also there we've got Aquaprint. Uh, they make beautiful and very practical uh, 3D printed aquarium accessories. So there, uh, I can't wait to check them out. We've got Shez Pink as well, who's uh, an aquarium artist. If you haven't seen her work, uh, check it out on Instagram as well, uh, Shez Pink. Uh, kind of a luminescent or uh, yeah, very colourful 
uh, marine artwork. It looks, uh, it does look super cool. Uh, who else is there? We've got who else is there? I can't remember. Obviously, AAC, Advanced Aquarium Consultancy. So, uh, around about 12:30, the meet's going to finish, I believe, and then we all head over to AAC. I've already spoken to Paul, and we've got a bit of exclusive access there, so we're going to be able to do a little bit of filming. And uh, it's my first time at AAC as well, so I'm really excited for that. The whole event, this is probably the best bit, the whole event and the money raised from the event is going to the Charity Mind. Great charity, as I say, and it's just uh, a good cause. And most people, as I say, get into refit, and it, it, it kind of helps them with their, with their well-being. So again, really good choice of charity. So we're making, we're making fairly good progress as it's like half seven in the morning. The roads are pretty clear, the M1's pretty clear. Um, I'm quite surprised about that actually, because this weekend is probably going to be one of London's busiest weekends, if you've been watching the news obviously. Uh, how Her Majesty, or Her Majesty, Queen Elizabeth II, uh, sadly passed away a week ago. And this weekend is the funeral weekend, so they're expecting lots of people to head down there. Um, to pay their respects to, in my opinion, the greatest monarch that's ever lived. So God bless the Queen and uh, the send off that the UK is going to give you will be amazing and uh, looking, looking forward to celebrating all your life on Monday. But uh, yeah, so that, yeah, that's, <laughs> without going into too depressing chat about the Queen's passing, uh, I'm, yeah, I'm super excited. I need to get to the services next, get a drink. But it's been really good to bring you guys along. So I'm on my own in the car. It's a three-hour uh, trip, three-hour trip down. So having you here just to chat to, tell you what was going on, it's been quite nice. But Satnav says we should get there for about half past nine, a little bit earlier. Hopefully get to chat to some, to some of you lot who are going down to the event as well. So here we are. I just arrived safely at Love to Reef with the organiser. Hello. Here we are, me and Paul. Morning, all. Morning everybody. Morning, buddy. We are super, <laughs> super excited. We're absolutely, um, just go down towards the end. By the way, Essex is, is so beautiful. The countryside on the way in was absolutely stunning. And Never been to a sunny day as well. I so know, what, what a beautiful day. Want? So we're here at the Leighton Bush Centre, conference centre. Uh, let's say just, oh, cups of tea and cakes. <laughs> <laughs> you can we've get been, bacon sarnie as well if you want, Jay. We've, we've just been distracted there a little bit. <laughs> but anyway, let's get in and let's have a little look around and see what's going on. Why this event and why now? So, just a couple of things. I've thought about doing an event for quite a while, and I was speaking to Paul Hughes, who, who runs AAC, and we kind of agreed that I'd do a trial, see what it's like. So, thank you for. How does anybody produce such beautiful art? I really don't know from my art days at school, but that is. Absolutely beautiful. Any clownfish there? It just the colours just pop and contrast. I've just spotted a little gony there, so I have to get a little closer for that as a little gony. Uh, but yeah, really beautiful uh, centerpiece there. You'd have to have a, a pretty big house to get that in. Not sure my house is big enough, but um, I'd love something like that. But what you can see is you've got a really nice range of different size pieces, so something to suit every size, every budget here by the looks of it. Oh, a little box fish. Oh, I like those. I do like those. Um, yeah, the, the colours. Oh my goodness, I'm so here. It's, um, it's like 3D art. Um, so these pieces of art here are actually popping out the frame. And uh, let's get in the light there. Look at that. So, I could do some of these for my tank because people always jokingly say that I've got brown corals. If I stick a few, if I, if I stick a few of these in, I think that that would really make it pop. Look at that open brain. These, these are really cool. Um, I need to ask how these are as well. So there, oh, let's not go past that. There we go. Paul will love that. There's the Love to Reef logo. And then here it is. So, uh, yeah, Shez Art, it's on Instagram. Uh, so yeah, check it out if you're into artwork, marine artwork in particular. It is I'm absolutely exactly. incredible. Oh, there's even a little clock I'm there, look. A scully clock. Um, How cool well, is that? Is. 
Oh, the lights are coming from here, so it's the um, it's the kind of reef lights that make it. Well, yeah, let me just grab one of these so you can see. So there you go. There's there's some of the details there as well of uh, some of the artwork that's been done. But yeah, just one of the exhibitors here at Victoria. That is so impressive. Here we are, look, this is where you know you've hit the jackpot. Look at these. I like fishing here. I chop and change. I always will do. I've had every kind of tank there is to have. Yeah, I just enjoy it. I really enjoy everyone. But yeah. So how's it going so far with your tank? You got a, you got a new one, have you? <laughs> I've got a downsize. He, 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 he doesn't like commitment. Hey. He doesn't like commitment. That's why he keeps. Yeah, changing. but hold on, hold He's on. He's got an addiction to say no. Tanks, but if you that, haven't seen him, Reef King, check him out on YouTube and Instagram. Reef King 100 as well. Yeah, Reef King 100. Yeah, check him out. The YouTube, I'm up and down. I, one minute I set it up, you know. Yeah, I'm, I'm up and down with it all. Good, I, I come and go, but I love it and I love everyone in the hobby. It's great. But it all my tanks have always looked good. It has. So They've what's your latest one? Give us a little bit about your latest one. Uh, the Pico. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll be honest with you. I had the four foot peninsula. Beautiful. Loads of fish in there. Looking really, really nice. i got bored as I do. And everyone says, and I chop and change. I have gone to a two litre <laughs> Pico <laughs> reef. That I will. Oh. But yeah, honestly, it's this big, but it's thriving. Regular water change every single week. Perfect. It does look really nice. It's got it some, looks alright. Nice, you got like a torch, you know, hammer. No, 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 no. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you what I've got in there. I've got <laughs> easy corals, easy stuff to look That's after, it, yeah. easy zoas and clove polyps, and I have got a little father at the bottom there. He's actually mm. quite hard to, mm. but he's actually come out. So go check him out. That's the key. Look. Keep it simple. Keep it easy. And uh, that's success. Reef King 100. <laughs> Absolutely love his channel. Check it out. What a cool little fish here, just hanging from the ceiling. So here is one of the main exhibitors at uh, Love to Reef. Uh, one of my favourite uh, 3D printing uh, businesses available on Instagram. Check this out. This is Aquaprint. If you haven't seen Aquaprint, check them out on Instagram. Give them a follow. But look at the product range here that we've got available to us. So I'll just try and give you a little insight to some of the goodies that are available. So here we've got um, a huge array of mu uh, mushroom baskets, different sizes, different colours. I quite like this one here that kind of slots into the corner uh, and keeps it keeps protects your, your valuable corals. Here we've got a, a small 3D little nano uh, frag racks. How cool are those? And actually quite a lot of space, I guess, there for, for your different frags that you've got. So that's kind of your nano range. I just love the colours. Look at the colours on the on the uh, uh, blue purple UV. Uh, anybody who's doing kind of the Pico challenge, uh, I actually have one of these as well. Say these that about the Pico the, the media basket. I'm trying to film here, Paul. <laughs> Sorry for the interruption. There is the interruption. So here is the little Pico challenge. Uh, this is your your media basket. These are uh, just slot in. Put your little bio, bio balls and your little phosphorus and stuff. Uh, this product has been the best selling product at the show. So if you've got um, an MP10, so here's they are, look, here's the MP10. So you'll probably notice that inside there is a six degree angle on the uh, on the outlet pipe there, on the outlet uh, grain. And that allows you then to direct the water flow a little bit further towards the surface. So you can kind of lift that water towards the surface for aeration. Or you can point downwards and then get a bit more flow going down to the bottom of your tank. But that brilliant design product for your MP for your MP10 uh, fits on and uh, improves the flow. Now, this is something else I want to show you. Look at these, check these out. So these are uh, kind of frag plugs. And you unscrew them. Um, I can't unscrew them with one hand, but you unscrew them. And then the base, so you put the base on the, on the rock, and then you can put the, the plug that screws in, and you can move them around your scape as well. Which are, these are brilliant. This was full, by the way, when I came, and now uh, loads of them have gone. We've also got our uh, bio balls kind of rack here to keep it uh, nice and organised in the sump, and then a huge array of media uh, media baskets as well. And uh, here's, your, here's your larger frag racks. Honestly, so so much choice um, and brilliant brilliant products. So if you're looking for something like uh, like this for your reef tank, yeah, just uh, check them out on. On Instagram, Aquaprint, really great company, and uh, the staff, the staff can't do enough to help you out.
Gonis. Not some of the Gonis calls here. We've got Red Gonis. Prices are very, very reasonable. Oh, we've got an Inferno. Oh, no. I might have to uh, look at that. I might have to have a little piece of that one. What I like about the coal bed actually, it looks like it looks like a reef tank rather than a, a shock kind of coal bed. He wants so you've got this live rock down the middle, and uh, it actually, yeah, it just looks like a, a, a reef tank. As it were. Some really nice selection of, of high end pieces there as well, and uh, the mangrove. <laughs> Love one of them. That looks really cool. Just kind of adds, it makes it look. <laughs> As you can hear in the background, there's a real buzz about today. We've been loved to reef and uh, lots of people here shopping and buying now after the event. So uh, lots going on. And you've got all your major brands here. And uh, oh, check it out. Yes. The Red Sea McNair. Yeah, as you know, if you follow this channel, I'm a big fan of the Red Sea. This one, this one stands out a little bit here. Uh, the, the kind of gold one, that really is popping there. That is a beautiful, beautiful piece of SPS there. Uh, Aquapora. So you've got so many of these Aquapora corals here. Something for everyone, I would say. Inspiration, as it were, from uh, the multiple displays that you've got. Look at this one here. Another amazing. Uh, I think this is a 300 litre again, something like that. D and D. But look how crisp it is. What I like actually, the light spectrum here is much whiter. So it's a white light, so you can really see. But again, torches, gonies, dwarf gonies there, montiporas. I think I've got a bit of jack o' lantern on that side as well. Uh, huge amount of chalice going on in the middle. And then we've got some more Gonia 4 on this side. And then on a backdrop of some SPS at the top, it's, it just looks absolutely incredible. And with the white spectrum as well, I think you can really see the beauty of the corals as well. Yeah, it looks really, really nice. But, uh, so many species of different plants there. Uh, here we've got, uh, look at the SPS, uh, Frags. Uh, super, super, super bright. Gorgonians, I really like Gorgonians. I haven't got any Gorgonians, but I really like them. Gives you that natural look to your reef tank. But let me just step back a bit. I mean, just look at that. <laughs> I wish I had the space. So again, you've got another LPS kind of um, LPS tank here. Different prices. I like how the um, how play the prices are. You got your you got your little hammers again. Yeah, you got your torches there. there. And then you got your kind of uh, mushroom corals. Elegance. Yeah, you see some elegance in the top top there. Uh, Gorgo uh, there's the gorgonians. I might need to get a gorgonian. I think I think I do. I think I need a Gorgonian in my tank, that would be good. So check this one out. This is like the high-end LPS uh, tank. Some really special pieces here. This is where we get excited, boys and girls. So you've got there some lovely um, torch corals there. You've got your kind of uh, dragon soul torch corals. You've got your mushrooms down here. Some really nice, colorful mushrooms. And then here we are, heaven, Bonnie heaven. Some beautiful uh, like rainbow pieces here. There's your rainbows. Um, then you've got your kind of long tentacle bonnets as well in here in this area. It's looking super, super healthy. Really nice and clean, healthy corals, which is what we want. Oh, I haven't seen this one either. Let's go over here. Uh, we've got like a, a mini SPS tank here, little frags. Perfect for your, for your nano reefs. It's been a long day, but absolutely loved it. We're just heading back up north now, uh, and what a, what a great event. I want to start by saying, Paul, uh, Fish Palace, absolutely superb planning, execution, unbelievable, really good reefing event. Um, and there was a real buzz about today with everybody kind of meeting up, swapping frag. The frag tank, by the way, was full of kind of frag swaps and at the end of the day it was it was empty as well so everybody's got home happy um, I won the raffle <laughs> I know people are gonna think this is a bit of a, uh, a fix but yeah I won a, a voucher for AAC so that was really great as well so I managed to get a little bit of money off 
from the corals. Uh, special mention to uh, Jez who led the Ecotech talk. Really informative about the kind of background, uh, context of Ecotech, kind of the history which I never even knew about. And then some advice about flow, and getting the flow right in your aquarium. And also some exciting developments around the lighting. So uh, I'm, I'm trying to line myself up now for the for the uh, upgrade kit. So for the Gen 6, so from Gen 5 to Gen 6 upgrade kit, I'm trying to get one of those as well, which is brilliant. And then there was a Q&A, really good Q&A around lots of controversial issues. Uh, some, of, some of them I've covered on the channel as well. That was really great uh, to finish off with. And then we went, to, we went to AAC. And let me tell you what a shop that is. A really great um, LFS. Really top notch management of that LFS. It just super clean, so many products. Um, one thing that I was quite uh, taken aback by was just how like, the pricing was really reasonable, I felt, like for, for um, the products and things. Um, Paul Paul helped me out as well. He's, he's kind of given me some advice around manganese because I've got a lot of LPS tanks. So I picked up some some little tips about how to get started with manganese because I've heard that that's uh, good for for LPS coral. So we've got a little bit of that. In fact, down here just to the left of me now, I've got loads of shopping. So I'll just I'll tell you what I've got. So I've got that manganese and I've got an ICP test, Reef Elements uh, the ICP. Uh, I've also picked up a redundancy uh, return pump. So that was my kind of uh, that's what I use my voucher for. So uh, a TMC uh, compact return pump. So I've got one of them redundancy. And then I've got some uh, food, various different packs of frozen food, uh, about five different varieties. A bit of red plankton, brine shrimp, mysis. So lots of little varieties of food there. And you've guessed it as well, I've got some coral. I, I can't not go and get some coral. So I've been looking for a Gorgonian. I know many of you think, oh, uh, you know, they're a bit boring, maybe they're a bit dull or whatever, a bit brown. <laughs> uh, this one is a brown one. It starts brown and it'll, uh, it'll end brown. Uh, but it's a photosyn photosynthetic Gorgonian. And when I looked at their main display, they've got kind of LPS and Gorgonians into, interwoven, as it were, in the reef. And I just love the movement of the Gorgonian, the flex. <laughs> and this is, a, this is an opinion, so don't beat me down here. But I think to get that authentic reef look, I think a Gorgonian is something that I needed. So um, I've got one of those, quite a large one actually, so I'm excited to put that in. It's going to be right at the back of the tank. So it's going to be more of a backdrop kind of coral rather than at the, at the forefront. But I'm excited to get that in. That, that's a really nice piece. Barry, who uh, is the manager at AAC, he helped me pick that out as well. Such a great guy. In fact, that's something else I want to say. The staff at AAC, that's second to none. Yeah, made me feel so welcome, uh, very knowledgeable. Even helped me out to the car with the stuff. Yeah, nothing was too much hassle. Um, so yeah, that, I really like that. That's something I needed to mention. So I got a Gorgonian and I've also picked up a fun gear plate. Now, I did have a fun gear plate in the early days and uh, when I was away it got buried with sand and, and the, that, well, it died basically. Uh, not much has died in the tank but that was one thing that did die. So I've got a nice fun gear plate. It's uh, kind of a toxic bright orange. It's also got some green on there, some lovely kind of tentacle. Oh, you, you're gonna you're gonna love it. Um, I just need to find some sand bed now to put it on. That's the issue that we've got now. But I'm gonna get back uh, back up north. I'm about 60 miles, about halfway now, 60 miles away from home. Get back, put those in the tank, and uh, if you want to see what they, how they do and, how, and what they look like, join us on the next video. I think I'm due to do a. An update on uh, on the Red Sea Max Nano. Show you the corals, see how things are going. So I will do that. So if you don't want to miss that, hit that subscribe button, notification bell. It really helps the channel. It 
it helps the algorithm and all those sort of things so I would really appreciate if you're not subscribed get subscribed there's going to be loads more content coming your way uh, various different types of content as well it was great to meet all of you reefing community there uh, so it was great to catch touch base with some people I've never met before and as I say lovely people there and there was such a buzz about the place and we have to do it again we have to do love to read has to happen again and uh, it was a brilliant brilliant event so next is the live stream next Friday hopefully you'll see all four of us on the live stream so check it out Friday night 7 p.m. GMT time uh, me Mogs Aquarium, Fish Palace and Bearded Reef hopefully on the live stream and we'll probably be chatting about Love to Reef and hopefully some of you guys and girls that were there today can uh, will be in the chat as well so we can catch up on that one as well. If you've enjoyed this video please hit that thumbs up, uh, hit us up in the comments section if you've got any questions about what you've seen, anything in the video, check out all the businesses, Aquaprint, Ecotech, um, Chez Pink, AAC, yeah, check those out as well. They've done a really great job today. There's no sponsorship here though, so if you don't, then so be it. You know, it's, it's no skin off my nose. But uh, yeah, they, they were really good as well. So we're going to wrap up the video. I'm going to get myself home. I need to get settled. It's been a long day. <laughs> get, get settled like I'm old. I need to get settled and uh, just enjoy the evening. But you guys and girls have been brilliant. Thank you so, so much for watching the channel does mean a lot and I really appreciate it. For now, take care. Goodbye.